Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the shop. Let's return now to the Iron Oak. So, last we left off, I forged out three limbs. And on those three limbs, they fractal out into 21 branches. Now comes the time where I need to figure out how am I going to attach over a thousand copper leaves to this canopy. So now I need to make twigs. So what I ended up choosing is quarter inch round. Uh, it's a greatly malleable material and it's nice and non-abrasive to the, the material at hand, the copper leaves, you see. If there was an edge, you would slowly grind that out and um, you know it would, it would break eventually. Now, if you're starting to follow my math here, you're looking at 320 twigs, and each one needs to be hand forged and wildly unique to all the others. You know, this nothing can seem uh, standard in this entire project. I battled with myself quite a bit on how do I attach copper to steel. You know, because you have material differentials involved, you can't you can't really braise it on there at least you know for a long time. I'm hoping to have this tree up there for several hundred years, so. I came with a system, a loop, a small loop where the leaves are able to have movement. I want this tree to feel alive. Three hundred and twenty elements hand forced do seem like a lot, but when you get into the rhythm, when you get into the zone, when you become the steel itself, it goes by in a flash. You get yourself into a rhythm. Once all the forging was done, I just had piles of all of these components, which is really fun just to have a, just a mound of hand forged things to just marvel at every now and then. Then I was confronted with a dilemma. Everyone knows what a tree naturally looks like. We never question the shape of a tree, ever. But when something is constructed, when something is mimicking nature, we look at it with such intense eye. So then came hours and hours of just tacking and welding all of these uh, little twigs on there. And each twig leads into a branch and each branch leads into a limb. It's just incredible how fractal the nature of this project really is.
Now, I was kind of shocked at just how time consuming this process really was. I constantly had to find myself stepping back and looking at the grand picture of this entire project because if you hyper-focus too strongly on one little spot, everything else will look weird and it just wouldn't look right. And I'm telling you, people's eye will really pick up on something that looks unnatural. Now I pride my work on doing everything by hand, you know, everything by just hand tools. And I don't know how many of you have ever run a pair of tin snips before, but anyway, I ordered a bunch of sheets of copper and I started cutting them out. And about by my 10th leaf, I started to realize just how daunting this task really is. So I reached out to my good buddies, Wesley and Chris, they're brothers, you see, we all went to high school together. I knew that they had a plasma cutting table, you know, it's on a cam to where, you know, I'm able to design, uh, you know, the copper leaves themselves, they can digitize them and then let the table do the work. And I'm so glad I did because I think I'd still be right now cutting copper leaves out. Guys, it was so fascinating watching this table cut these leaves out with breakneck pace, watching the copper move and flex with thermal dynamics. It was a trip. And it was neat to just see, you know, my friends at work as well, appreciating their trade. So I designed eight leaves that were all nested together in one little square foot. And it was fun to design them because each one of those were unique and I didn't realize how much variance there was on the table. Each one of these leaves were wildly different from the others. So I was able to keep that unique nature in the piece itself. When we unveiled the fresh, beautiful copper, it's almost like a, a, a rose mirror. Gosh, it was so beautiful. And I wish I could just capture that forever without it oxidizing. As a reminder, uh, the reason that we're doing this entire tree with this copper canopy is to honor all of the donors that helped retrofit Mission San Antonio here in the central coast of California. Now that I got the leaves back into the shop, I was able to kind of sort them and count them because there was different grades. Sometimes the cut was really good and then some were, were very wild and unique that I was able to kind of put throughout the tree. But I reserved the best cuts for the uh, stamped names to show appreciation for the retrofit project that all these people made happen. As I was sorting these copper leaves from you know, the small ones to different ones that need to be stamped with names and all of that, etc., it was so exciting to just be surrounded by hundreds of pounds of shiny copper elements. You all know that I'm a, just a huge fantasy nerd. I almost felt like either a mixture of like Scrooge McDuck with all of his copper coins or almost like a Smaug the dragon, you know, surrounded by his hoard of treasure. Then came the daunting task of stamping several hundred names into all of these copper leaves and they had to be perfect. I reached out to even more community. I got some of my best friends, you know, those talented in the, the art form of trade and I, you know, built us a little workstation and I, you know, set up an anvil for each and every one of them, got them a, a, a stamp set and we all just got in a zone and stamped names all together. It felt like being in Santa's workshop. It was magic. As an artist and as a tradesperson, I'm constantly learning. You know, either it'd be a piece of steel that uh, really gave me some challenge, always constantly learning. But this, this job, at least this step, I learned a very valuable lesson, and it's to ask for help. It's to reach out to the community around you and just ask. You know, all they can do is say no, but in this case, they didn't. And they showed up and they helped me and I feel so 
such a uh, such a sensation of um, togetherness on that, and that was just such a rewarding sensation. I highly suggest if you constantly work alone, just reach out to community. You never know who might show up. Now what comes next is shaping all these leaves for the canopy and then installing all of this ironwork on site. I cannot wait and I'm so excited to take you on the journey with me. And as always, my friends, thank you for watching.